hands, but the scurvy rogues that stood up from their seats, <laughs> tore apart their tickets, is an insult to all artists and all actors and Shakespeare himself. <laughs> I'll find this sword and many a dagger placed neatly in the tires of your carriage. <laughs> no intermission rule for you. <laughs> Leave us to play, scurvy wags. <laughs> Here and I shall give thee a haircut. <laughs> Free of choice, young lady. Number one, give me back my costume. <laughs> Number two, what be thy name, wench? Francis! Francis! Your name shall appear in the play. <laughs> a cup of sack, Francis. <laughs> Understood? Uh, Get thy royal arse back to your seat. She has returned. She deserves our good grace. <laughs> Confess, my lady Francis, you have to get the play to go pee pee. <laughs> crowd may not hear you, for you have no radio mic around your head. <laughs> oh, you're projected quite a bit, young lady. <laughs> your personality is on display in droves. In droves. My lady needs attention. <laughs> My lady craves her moment in the sun. Francis, come sit on this chair for one moment. <laughs> Drunken fool! <laughs> Francis, from whence did you travel to our sacred oath tonight? Have a seat. <laughs> or as they say in Elizabethan times, park it, babe. <laughs> from whence did you travel? I Tonight, darling. Tonight. <laughs> Barbie! My lady, you have crossed the 405. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on with the play! Yeah! 